Hey guys, tonight we are going to be filming how to replace an electrical socket. The reason why we're replacing this is if it's bad, you can replace it, but uh, we're replacing ours because what's happening with this Sony here, with this socket here, is it's a, a two-prong. The three-prong is able to attach in there pretty good, but notice how loose this is like this, okay? It's causing it, when you put it in, it just falls out just from a lot of use. This home is probably from the 1990s, so it's time to switch this out because, you know, just one little bump and your electronics turn off, your alarm clock turns off, that's not good for business. So the first thing we're going to do is we know it's good, but how to check, we have our little machine here, and I'll have all the links in the description box below so that you're able to pick up all these products on your own. But my father-in-law here is going to test it out. And we just stick our little pins right into the socket and look at this here. So now he's just stuck it back in. He just stuck it back in and our light goes on. That means we have power to our electrical circuit. And of course you can also find that out if your machines are working or not working. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to switch this out is we're going to have to shut off the breaker to the electrical uh, socket here. And so that there's no more power coming to it because we don't want to get electrocuted. And we're going to go shut off the breaker. Here is our new one we picked up. And again, all the links are in the description box for these new products. Now, how to turn off the breaker for the electrical socket is you probably want to plug your Sony machine back in or have a light plugged into it. So that if you're home alone, um, you can turn off the breaker when the light goes off. That means that uh, the light is no longer, the socket no longer has power. So again... Let's go ahead and put this back in here, and we know that's working again because now we're lit up again. So my father-in-law is going to go back to the breaker box, and normally the breaker box is in your garage, in the hallway, um, sometimes behind an apartment uh, master bedroom door. So let's go find ours. Let me show you what it looks like, and we will show you how to turn off the breaker. All right, guys, so again, uh, I told you that this is a uh, probably a house from the 1990s. And we are in an upstairs unit here. We moved in and uh, we were able to find the breaker box. And excuse the uh, little bit of a mess here, but I'm going to show you the breaker box. And it is right here. So this is normally what it looks like. In your typical house, it's going to be outside in the backyard. Um, in condo townhouses, it's going to be either down a hallway or behind my old apartment that I moved out of. It was behind the master bedroom door. But again, this is what the box looks like. Always has a little door to it like this here. Opens up just like this. You just push up, opens up. And now what we're going to do, if it's not labeled, some of the times the directions are very good here where people, you know, say kitchen, K-I-T. They say uh, display, microwave up here. But if your box doesn't have anything at all, you're just going to have to experiment, tell you the truth. And so we come over here. And we see some uh, L plus P. We kind of have no idea what that is. So we're just going to play around with a couple of these. And then, so I'm going to be in the other room. My father-in-law is going to uh, click the breaker. And when the Sony machine, you see it right there, with that little blue light on right there where I just pointed to. We're going to take a look. When that power gets killed to that Sony uh, station dock, then we know that receptacle is good to uh, take apart, but we're gonna double check it with our little yellow little prong machine that I showed you earlier. So let's begin. Experiment number one, we're gonna try uh, one of these here. And my father-in-law will go ahead and flick it and we'll take a look here. He's gonna flick it on one, two, three. Nope, still on. So he just turns it back on. So this is how he flicks it, okay? There we go, I heard something else, but no, it wasn't it. Oh, that was my computer. That's the kitchen. <laughs> All right, he's going to flick it again. All right, let's see. He's going to flick it to the left to turn it off. And the right ones, he's going to flick them that way to turn them off. These ones, he's going to flick that way to turn them off. There it is. Okay, okay. So he flicked that off. And as you can see, our blue dot on our docking station is off. So now we're going to test. Okay, so now you can see, of course, the light is off here. But now, just to play it safe, we are going to test. And this is our uh, multimeter here. And we're going to go ahead and stick the prongs on in. And if it does not light up red right here, we're good. And it is not lighting up red. 
That means we have no power to this receptacle. We're going to check the other one. Okay, and nothing, nada. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to take a flathead screwdriver, uh, which is a flathead, of course, um, and we're going to go ahead and remove uh, the screw right in the middle here and then take off the receptacle panel. All right, and we're going to go ahead and remove it now. And it should come off like that, but there might be some paint sticking to the outside layer of it. In that case, you just jam your flathead in the edge of it, pop it out, and it'll come out. So now our cover is removed, and now what's holding this on here is we have a Phillips screwdriver here and a Phillips screwdriver here. So I'm going to go get my Phillips screwdriver. All right, so we're going to remove the Phillips heads here that are connecting the socket so we can pull it out. There's one right there. And now we're removing a second one down below. And if you're wondering what this is, this is a Black & Decker pivot drill. It's really sweet. Again, I'll have descriptions in the description box below, links in the description box. Okay, now you're just going to kind of pull on it gently here. Don't rip these wires. They're pretty tough anyway. But you're just going to pull the socket out. And it's going to go ahead and just dangle straight down here. And we're going to go ahead and look at the wiring. Okay, guys, so let me show you the new one here. This here, the short version, is going to be the hot side of the wire. This is going to be the longer version. It's going to be the, the neutral side. And then this one down here is going to be the ground. Okay, so there's three different ones. So right now here, we're looking at black is hot. Okay, the white is neutral. And this one over here, it's connected to the side. That's your ground wire. So what we're going to do is we're going to get these older receptacles. We've got to jam a little flathead screwdriver in there to release the wiring. Okay, we're going to, we're going to start with the neutral. The neutral are those ones right there. There's two of them. And again, guys, with these older receptacles, we're going to have to jam our flathead in to release the wiring. Because if they don't, there we go, just like that. Because some of these older ones, they're kind of spring-loaded a little bit. They won't really pop out unless you kind of jam a flathead screwdriver in there. And my uh, dad is a certified uh, electrician, so he showed us exactly how to do this. And my father-in-law is visiting from Brazil, so we're doing it together and showing you guys how to do it here. So let's get the other one out here. And sometimes you're going to have to work it in there a little bit. All right, guys, so we got them all out, and it was a little bit tricky there with some of those wires. Uh, some of the springs on these ones, again, were very hard, very difficult. And so what you do here with these older models here just looks exactly like this. You insert your flathead screwdriver in this little socket right here. Push down. That releases the spring. Then you lift the wires right out again. Here's the other one. Lift that in. Pull it out. And the same thing here. Push it in there. Lift it out. Put it in there. Lift it out. Now all f two of the hot wires are out. To the neutrals, we still have our ground here on the, uh, the side right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our Phillips, loosen that up, take that off. And the new ones here that we've purchased, they do not look like that. These ones, have, eh, they do have little springs right here as well if they get jammed. But these are really simple here. They're very, very nice and uh, very easy to use here. So we'll show you how to connect these uh, new ones back on. Okay, so we're going to remove the ground wire here. Okay, so there we go. And your new one should come with another nut, so but just keep that other nut just in case. So our socket is completely removed here. And with our new one, guys, here, we have our neutral wires we're putting in. And, of course, the neutral is on the same side as the ground. And so it's a little bit different, as you can tell already. And so what we had to do is we had to loop around the copper wire around the side of the nut here. So instead of putting it straight in the back there, we're looping it around, and we're going to go ahead and tighten that down onto the wiring of the neutral wire. We're loosening up the other one because we need to go ahead and bend that one as well and put that around. And now how we bend this, your little stripper here, we're going to strip off a little bit more wire here, and he's just going to go ahead and carefully kind of go around it without cutting the wire. We're stripping the wire, there we go. Now we're going to take our little holes in our wire strippers here and we're going to go ahead and bend the wire around just like this so it's able to loop onto the nut of 
the side of the receptacle here. We're going to go ahead and cramp down a little bit more, strip a little bit more wire, make sure it's nice and perfect. There we go, looping it around. Okay guys, we hooked up our ground wire right here down below here. And we hooked up our neutral wires as well. They're already tightened down. So now we're going to go ahead and tighten down the ground wire. And if you're using one of these machines, you always double want to double check it with a manual screwdriver as well. Um, it looked like it was nice and tight. So we'll go ahead and move on over to the other side here. Now we just have the hot wires over here on this side, the opposite side of the ground wire side. And so again, when we put it back in, it's going to look like this. Hot wires go on this side, neutral on that side, with the ground wire on that side as well. So that's what it looked like. We're all finished with that side. We had to loop them around a little bit underneath the wiring here. And now we're moving over to the other side. And again, guys, same thing for this side. We're going to loosen the wire up. We're going to go ahead and, if needs be, strip a little bit of the black wiring so that we can loop it around perfectly on this side and this side. And I'll be right back with you when we've done that and these are connected. All right, guys. So we have connected our hot wires. Again, we've looped them around. We've tightened these two nuts down. Now what we're going to do here, to put it back, we're going to flip it around like this here. Now something that you need to be very careful of, here is your ground wire right here. You do not want that bare wire touching anything on this side over here where my fingers are right here. So as you insert it back in, make sure that this doesn't push that direction. And just make sure that it goes in nice and snug in here like this. And what you're then going to do is tighten this nut and this nut back in. All right, guys, so our screw is in here. It is in here as well. Again, Phillips. Now we're going to put back on our cover. All right, guys, and we're just going to finish up with it right there. And that is it. Our little cover is on. Our new receptacle is in. Now let's go ahead and test it out here, and let me show you the difference between an old receptacle and a new receptacle. Here is our docking station here. We're going to plug it in. Nice and tight, guys. Nice and tight. Beautiful. No slack in it. Comes in and out very beautifully. And let's go ahead and test this one as well. Very nice, nice and tight. Now all we need to do is we need to turn back on the breakers. All right guys, so as you can see here, this is our breaker here that is off, the one right here. So all of them are in a line except for this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this back to the right, which is gonna give us power to that socket here. Okay, so let's flick this over and there we go. And we are all set there. Let's go ahead and close up our box there. And let's go test out that new... Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and insert our plug here. We have power. Alright guys, so we're looking really good now and we were able to fix our socket here for a very inexpensive price uh, compared to having a professional come out. And uh, I'm all about supporting professionals. That's how my dad uh, was able to pay the bills when we were a young family. But if you're just looking to do it yourself like uh, my father and I are, my father-in-law and I are, then uh, this is the way to do it. Again, look in the description box below. You're going to see all the links for sockets, some of the tools we used here. And uh, with the old one, go ahead and just uh, recycle it, throw it away there, and uh, enjoy your new uh, power socket here. And again, guys, please subscribe. We've got a lot more awesome videos on the way. Thumbs that video up, and look in the description box below for all your goodies. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.